it's not uncommon for people to seek God during times of hardship. And in some ways, the pandemic has been no different. But even before COVID, a growing number of Americans were moving away from organized religions. And the pandemic didn't do anything to stop that trend. A survey this month from the Pew Research Center found 29 percent said they had no religious affiliation. That's up six points from 2016, with the millennial generation leading that shift. So with the pandemic dragging on into its third year, CNBC's Seema Modi tells us faith leaders are trying new ways to reach out and touch someone. For many, this is what religion looks and sounds like. Familiar customs, prayers, and holy sites. But the future of worship may look and feel very different. To reach millennials, 44% of whom say they have no religious affiliation, leaders are bringing the experience to them. I use Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, uh, TikTok, uh, stories, all sorts of things to go to where people are, and that's where a lot of the young people are. Hoping to answer the toughest questions about life and death itself. As we emerge from this pandemic, the younger generation's uh, faith is changing a bit. Uh, I think it's raised some uh, timeless questions for a group uh, that might not have had to uh, confront them, uh, you know, so early. At the East End Temple, Rabbi Josh Stanton says he's doing less lecturing and more listening. My sermons are getting shorter and shorter and more and more open. And what I try to encourage people to do is discuss them with me, argue about them. You want people to argue with you. There's an old joke that for every two Jews, there are three opinions. Our culture for thousands of years has been one of debate and discourse. Debating controversial topics like the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. The facets of the arguments and conflicts, et cetera, are super important. And I think that that's certainly a, a pillar of Judaism is that intellectual pursuit. More progressive religions are gaining popularity. Middle Collegiate Church grew by 500 members during the pandemic, even though its actual building was destroyed by a fire last year. We've put social justice and democracy in the middle of faith in a way that really speaks to young folks. Some critics would say you're changing their relationship with God. That what you're doing is, is different than the traditional approach. What's your response? I'm so glad I'm changing their relationship to God. If that's what we're doing, that's exciting to me. I'm trying to get God out of the box. Member Perrin Allen grew up in a conservative Christian household, but as a gay man, struggled to feel accepted. You had to do things the way the Bible says literally, but I feel like the Bible and Jesus Christ believe in love no matter what and I feel like I found that at middle. It's not just love. Since the pandemic, spiritual leader Deepa Chopra says people are yearning for connection and community. The pandemic showed us that people don't like uh, isolation. Chopra's foundation is hosting retreats where the spiritually minded come to heal, meditate and connect. We are creating both online and offline communities globally. Rabbi Stanton views these changes as a spiritual awakening, not just for people, but the faith community as a whole. Institutions are going to shift dramatically, and we are all going to be the better off for it. Whether at churches like this one, on social media, or at spiritual retreats, religious leaders we spoke to say the pandemic has fostered a stronger connection to spirituality in younger generations and see it as an opportunity to engage with them. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.